Maya, nice to see you here in Yonkers. Maya, we, we've been trying to reach you because there is a lot of things going on in Mount Vernon. Not just the last incident at the Department of Public Works, but also a, a, a fire in City Hall and other stuff. How you feel about that? You know, government service is really about service. And, you know, I'm here in Yonkers today because I'm paying my respects on behalf of the city of Mount Vernon, Leonard Spano. Our condolences go out to the Spano family. He was a patriarch, a, a true person of, of great um, magnitude, having made an incredible difference in life across the entire county. And I just want to make sure you know that, and everybody out there watching, I'm, I'm, I want to make sure everybody pays their respects to Mr. Spano, the Honorable Spano, excuse me. As far as the stuff going on in Mount Vernon, you know, look, it's a labor of love. I love my city, I love Mount Vernon, and all the things that are going on is basically hate. It's hate responding to all the love that we're putting out there for to fix Memorial Field, to fix our sewers, fix our parks, to fix our community, making it safer, making you know the quality of life stronger. And every time we turn around, we get a big, big surprise of the other side, people that don't want Mount Vernon to move forward, they're taking steps to bring us backwards. And what I know is that culture that culture of apathy, that culture of not caring, I'm gonna keep attacking it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack it with tough love. But Mayor, I think we need to make it clear that the sabotage of the snow trucks, yep. the, fire, uh, the fire at the city hall, actually, they're not putting your life at risk, they're putting the life of the citizens of Mount Vernon at risk. And uh, the opposition that, uh, or those that are doing that, are those who claim to love Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon and its people, and they are putting those people at mm -hmm. risk. You know, look, and that's where, you know, I really don't do well with politicians. I can't stand liars or losers. I believe in winning, and I play to win. And despite the fire being set in City Hall, that was aimed at the people. That was an attack at the people of Mount Vernon despite the fact that they sabotage our emergency vehicles to remove snow. I mean, think about it. The ability to pick up trash, that creates a public health crisis. That's why I'm here. I'm here to fight for the people and I'm here to make sure that people know I'm not gonna stop trying to fix the problems we have. And if it involves uncovering some real corruption, like the fact that the prior administration gave away $6 million, where you don't have to make a payment until the year 2046, those things, those are the dollars that the public needs, that the people need. That's for our parks, that's for our kids, our seniors. But you know what? I'm going to keep trying to bring accountability where it belongs. Well, yeah, since you mentioned those six million dollars, I don't hear the opposition talking about that. And that is money that belongs to the taxpayers right. of Mount Vernon. That's right. They, Why you think they're not talking about that? They don't want to talk about the truth. They want to distract everybody with distractions. They want to go after drama and personalities. They're not going to ever go on the issues. When you look at the issues, every issue, be it memorial field, be it clean water and fixing the sewers, be it trying to get the money back, the six million that was given away by the prior administration. You know what? I'm trying to give Mount Vernon back to the people and this is the fight that you see. There's power and forces in, in places that, that don't want the darkness to come to light. They want to keep Mount Vernon down and dark. I want to build it up and I want to move it forward. Now, Mayor, I was at your kickoff party on the 11th. Yep. A lot of support, a lot of love, positive karma. How confident are you that you will be reelected? You know, it's all about faith. It's all about faith. I have faith in the people. I have faith in the process. But most importantly, I have faith in God. And I feel that all the obstacles, all the things that were thrown in my way are basically a test of faith. And, and I'm going to hold on to hope and know that I'm going to keep getting through. God has gotten me this far. And, and I believe that we have much further to go. I have much more work to do. Now, one last question, Mayor. We heard, it's not confirmed yet, that uh, the prior mayor might be running against you. How you feel about that? Maybe he can answer some questions about the money that's missing. Maybe he will give us the and answer. And also the answers at Memorial Field. Thank you, sir. Thanks.